You're watching Telecom TV at the TIP Summit, part of the Fuse 2022 event here in Madrid. And I'm very pleased to say that I'm now joined by Juan Carlos Garcia, who is SVP of Technology, Innovation and Ecosystem at Telefonica. It's very good to see you again. We've, we've talked um, over the years about disaggregation and, and, and this whole openness. But I'd like to ask you first about why Telefonica is an active participant in TIP. Well, TIP has a, a multiplier effect no, on the efforts that we make on technology development. Industry, industry collaboration is essential uh, for developing technologies like the open disaggregated solutions, so coordination is absolutely needed. And TIP is, is bringing the right environment uh, for collaborating with the key players, with other operators to align requirements and also with vendors to let them understand you know, what we need and also trial and test with them and define the new solutions in the future. So within Telefonica, um, and bearing in mind the work you're doing with, with TIP, what is next for you in your open and disaggregation journey? So we are, as you know, we have been very, very active on the open transport initiatives and uh, open fixed broadband as well, uh, with a lot of uh, commercial products already uh, in place in, in IP and transport disaggregation. Um, we are now uh, extending also the, the participation in, in, in other groups like Open Run, um, where we are contributing our long experience uh, since 2017 uh, and uh, using TIP as a way to, um, as a place to, uh, to align requirements with other operators and also to uh, disseminate uh, our experience uh, and results to the, to the industry. No? Uh, now, you spoke here at the event about disaggregation in the, in the, in the transport network but in particular. Are there any specific challenges or, or, or issues that we still need to overcome there before we, we fully realise this? The two main ones are on one side achieving a scale so that these uh, products are becoming a solid alternative to the traditional equipment uh, and this requires uh, alignment of uh, requirements with operators, with the community. It requires also to have, um, and it's something that we have set up, uh, a consistent test and validation process that can help uh, in facilitating the integration of these open solutions with the, with the network and systems of the, of the telecom operator. Um, and um, in general, uh, do everything to facilitate you know, the, the procurement of, of these elements with the marketplace and, and all the badges and, and, uh, and, and mechanisms that TIP is building. Okay? There is a second uh, aspect that is very relevant. When you try to get these solutions to, um, uh, to a production network, uh, that is uh, bringing all the uh, carrier grade functionality like uh, automation, orchestration, and um, for instance, uh, artificial intelligence assisted operation no? to make uh, somehow these open networks uh, as efficient or more than the traditional ones. So how does all this work fit in with Telefonica's plans for, for network automation? Well, um, as you know, Telefonica has a program in place um, for transforming our operations. It is, it is called the Autonomous ne Network Journey. journey. Uh, our Autonomous Network Journey team uh, is participating in TIP, so they are contributing with, with experience and collaborating in areas like uh, service management and orchestration and artificial intelligence assisted operations in open run, no? in, in the Roma and RIA groups uh, of uh, TIP. So really, it's, it's, um, the network automation work it, it covers a, a number of areas, a number of TIP project groups, but also in, in your network, it's, it's, it's across the network. Exactly. So uh, I mentioned to you the, the, the work on open run that is uh, initiated, but we have also uh, um, a very solid group that has a lot of traction that is most is the project for developing the SDN controller, an open SDN controller. Uh, and this is an element that will bring, you know, the mechanisms that we will need to automate the transport network. So both the, the provisioning, the configuration, and the operation of the transport networks. No? And, and especially in the way we, we approach this in TIP, it's a very pragmatical one. Uh, we are not looking for detail or dense technical specification. We're going more on, on developing practical use cases that may help in the operation of the transport network. And this is the way we are defining the SDN controller that is a key element there, for instance. So a final question. If we look across all the activities that are going on with TIP and, and all the activities that you're involved with, with the ecosystem, what, what, what challenges are ahead that we need to face? And, and what should we, the industry, and the ecosystem, what should we be working on? What we should be concentrating on? Yeah, well, I, I mentioned some uh, before. No? Uh, we need to uh, facilitate the providers of these solutions, these open solutions, 
um, a, a chance to get scale. And, and for this, we need, you know, the operator community to align on what we need and what are our requirements. So this is probably the first step, no? to, to, to try to, to have a coordination on the, on the uh, I would say, the consumer side so that the, the providers can, can really make their job and, and, and invest in developing these solutions. Um, and the second thing is that we need to complement what we have done also with all the tools that are needed to operate these systems. Okay, so it's not enough that you have the system, you need also a way to operate it uh, efficiently. No? And, uh, and then automation, orchestration, you know, uh, and data management, artificial intelligence, these are key elements uh, in, in, in these solutions. And, and this is the, probably the, the second challenge. Great. Well, Juan Carlos, it's very good to see you again. And uh, thanks very much for giving us an update on your activities and the work you're doing with TIP. Pleasure. Thank you very much.